I did say there was two more days left at the education show, but it got cut short. <laughs> I give you attention when nobody else was paying mm. I give you the shirt on my back what you're saying To keep you warm I showed you the game everybody else was playing That's for sure And I was on my knees when nobody else was praying oh. morning everyone or should I say afternoon it's now Saturday and you are not going crazy because I did say there was two more days left at the education show but it got cut short yesterday at the show it didn't go it didn't go very well let's let's be honest I try to be honest with you guys and sort of open up and, and give my view on my life and just sort of tell it as it is because that's just what I want to bring to you guys so you guys are aware of what's going on with the business startup and that kind of thing. So the education show, um, advertised as um, primary and secondary um, school education show. However, the predominant market in there was primary school. And as you can imagine with my product, um, well, service, that's not my target. So Wednesday... Sorry, Thursday went all right. There was a few people to speak to um, who thought the idea was good, but not the right people to speak to. Friday, absolutely terrible. What I discovered was people at the show are there to look for products that aid them delivering a subject. There was no one there that could make a decision on bringing something new into the school. Um, they were all there to just find teaching aids to help them teach uh, a subject to students. So my advice for the education show is if you are going to go, it's only worth going if you've got a product that's going to aid a teacher. I think you'll have the most success going to that, that education show. If you've got a service like mine, something new, something different, um, I think I had better success just calling a school trying to speak to the right person rather than standing in a stall waiting for the right person to walk past because there isn't really much you can do to drag people into where your stand is. Um, there's well, was, oof, God, hundreds of different stalls that people are walking around and trying to get anyone's attention was pretty difficult whether you put a flyer in the face or whether you went up and spoke to them. Some of them were just not interested at all. Not my kind of thing, this is not something I would normally do, not my normal environment. Some people thrive in that kind of thing. Um, I can speak to people, I can engage um, with uh, in a conversation with people, but in just that high intensity sort of session, in front of people, standing around waiting for the right person to walk past, it just wasn't really for me at all. Um, so I made the decision of, well, coming back home as you just saw. I feel better now I've slept, but I felt terrible yesterday just really sort of down in the dumps and upset and sort of frustrated at how things have gone and, and what I'm what I'm going to do next because I'm really struggling right now. Um, I've got a meeting on Monday to discuss a possible job, uh, me working for someone else to gain some more experience before sort of really kickstarting either this business again or a completely new business. Um, Easy Endeavour is not going to die out. Um, it's just going to alter from being... Uh, my full-time job to more of a, a part-time slash evening sort of work depending on how this meeting goes on Monday so we'll see how it goes but now I've got a lot of tidying up to do 
so I literally came in last night and dumped everything on the floor. I best get tidying. See you guys in a bit. I've unpacked, finally. Not feeling too great right now. But, can't stay down in the dumps too long because it doesn't help anything. So, we need to start taking action and getting a plan together. So, I'll bring you guys with me. Thanks for sticking with me. Thanks for being there and supporting, leaving comments, liking, sharing, inviting friends to watch these videos. So, it is much appreciated. Um, you guys have been a big help throughout the journey so far. And uh, I look forward to the rest of it with you guys.